So let's set the scene. The year is 2020. It is April the 25th and I'm going nowhere fast guys. I'm 25 years old, I've just turned 25 and I've got a one year old baby at home and I'm struggling. I'm in a brand new city that I've only been in for about six months and business is hard. I'm just doing basic window cleaning, gutter cleaning. I've got a very, very small business. So I get a call to go and clean some gutter in on a house that was not far from me, just down the road. And while I was doing the gutter in there, she said we'd be able to give our driveway a clean. I said, yeah, yeah, sure, absolutely, no problem. I didn't own a pressure washer. I'd never pressure washed anything in my life before, not even a car. So that night I went out and I bought a hundred pound Karcher yellow pressure washer. And the very next day I went back and I cleaned the driveway and the patio. While I was doing that job, the neighbor came out and said, wow, could you do mine as well? So I cleaned theirs. He also had a house around the corner. So I cleaned the driveway of that house too. Then off the back of those jobs with a bit of advertising and some social media posts, I ended up getting in contact with a care home who had a really big courtyard that was really bad. And they said, Sid, would you be able to clean the block paving courtyard for us? I said, absolutely. And then I thought this would be a fantastic thing to make a video on YouTube about. That particular video, only a month or two after buying that first yellow pressure washer was my first video on YouTube that hit 1 million views and really kickstarted my channel. So I thought it'd be cool to do a video today because my very first driveway cleaning customer got in contact with me two days ago and she said, long time no speak, it's been a few years, the driveway's looking rough, would you be able to come and give it a clean again? I said, absolutely. And I thought, what a cool video will that be to make? It's pretty much three years on now, back to clean the first ever driveway that I ever cleaned. And of course I thought, considering she was the one that started it all really, uh, Jackie and Trevor, the names are, I thought let's do this one for free as a thank you because I may not even have this YouTube channel now if it wasn't for them persuading me to uh, pressure wash their drive. So, and honestly, I'd never even thought about it guys. I probably would not be doing pressure washing now if they hadn't have said so. Let's get into it. Hello there. Hi, How are you doing, your eyes? Yeah. Long time. That's a big monster, isn't it? I know, it's a big old van. <laughs> yeah, it's a big van now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you've done very well, very well. I didn't even drive the last time I was here, I don't think. No, you didn't. I, was yeah. just gonna say, I think I saw on Facebook. Well, you, you were recommending a driving school, I think. Yes, yeah, Paul. Yeah, I think it was, uh, yeah, his name's Paul. He was a really good bloke, yeah. Yeah, he got me through really quick. That was in the middle of COVID as well. So I was, I was yeah, I was glad to get it done because I delayed loads of the tests and stuff, so. Blessed, really. You were looking yeah. at a big number next year. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, what's going on? 80. <laughs> oh, 80. Yeah, oh, sorry. really? Oh, well. supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look a day over 50. Yeah. Never, ne never bothered about 70. We took all the kids away, didn't we? Yeah. We were 80, I've had a real hang up about it. Yeah. Have you? Nah, well, if you're keeping keeping active and you're getting out and about, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah, we try to keep active. Yeah, we're yeah. busy. We travel a lot, so uh, that's the main thing, isn't it? Anyway, hopefully onward and upward. Isn't yeah. It? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you want me to move anything, sir? Nah, I'll figure it out. I'll be alright. There's nothing in there, so it's yep. very light. Yeah. 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 I, rem I remember there was uh, there was an awful flood there, wasn't there? So I've brought a pump with me today, so I can pump it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it will, um... This is very posh. Yeah. So I've got two vans now. Wow. So I've got one guy that well. yeah I've got one guy that works for me full time, um, and then this is uh, so I've got one guy full time with me. Um, so he's he's in the other van, but he's, he's my father-in-law. He is so he, 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 yeah that's the main thing. So and then this is my pressure washing wow. setup now. So cost me an arm and a leg it is yeah it is so it is so i've got this is like a boiler in it so i can steam clean so and it's all got 500 litre tank in there so i can be really self-sufficient so because the thing i hated the most was having to get all the kit out and then i'd have to leave it somewhere and keep moving it and stuff so now it's all built into this so yeah, but yeah. To tell you where to get your water from. But yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll just I'll plug into the tap, and it'll just sort of keep my tank topped up, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I've got solar panels on the top as well. Wow. So for the, I've got like a push button start on the engine, so I don't even have to turn a key. I don't even have to pull anything. <laughs> yeah. And then, but it's Brilliant. it's all linked to the solar, so I don't have to plug anything into the van, no. which will drain the battery in the day. So. No, no that's it. That's yeah. Good. Eco-friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it definitely saves a lot of energy and stuff, which is nice, so, but, um... And, and you've still got quite a bit of work then? Yeah, really busy, yeah, oh, super that's busy, that's yeah. Good, yeah, I've, I've been really quite fortunate, to be honest, and I was thinking about it the other day, it all really did start from this job, yeah. to be honest, because yeah. I never even thought about pressure washing, and now it's, it's pretty much all I do now. So I don't clean windows anymore, I don't no. do any of that, it's, it's all pressure washing, so Brilliant. if I never bought that little yellow karcher to come and yeah. do this drive, yeah. Yeah. 
um, started with you guys to be honest so Brilliant. thank you very much yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you've still got your card with your bank details so make sure they're still oh there. yeah well I've got a, a business account stuff now so it's different yeah. details so I'll send that over to you instead I yeah. sat down the other one I thought oh I'm going to do but no, this. actually this is free anyway don't worry about it I'm, I'm not charging you for this so it's a thank you for me for getting me started so, so. You, you don't need to do the other side okie doke our, uh, our son Sean did that last week it's been on for you couple of weeks and he's oh, nice. oh, come and do your conservatory that's oh, alright yeah, alright then I'll get started oh god that's heavy I'm not a fan I'm not a fan <laughs> but Jackie loves it so. yeah you yeah. got to keep the wife happy, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll go around them and move them. Um.
Yeah, it's been about three years, I think, hasn't it? Yeah, I bet this kicks it out, don't it? Oh, it does. It's a lot faster, yeah. It costs an arm and a leg, but well, it's, it's worth I, it. I can see it, did you know, I don't need to... <laughs> I could tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could see it. Yeah, yeah, not much has changed. I'm just uh, you know, working a lot more than ever now, which is nice. So. Hey, let me tell you, it's better than the alternatives. Too right. Yeah, too right. Uh, no, well, anyway, nice to see you. Yeah, I and like you. see people doing well. Yeah, well, thank you for your business before. It's, yeah, uh, it's well, well appreciated. We'll have, you, we'll have you again soon. You let me know whenever. I mean, yeah. uh, Jackie and Trevor got my number, so. Yeah, yeah, you grab well, it I've, I've still got it. However, it aren't. Well, I presume it hasn't changed, has it? Should still be the same, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, first bit done. You can see it's pretty bad here as well, isn't it? So, we'll get all this done. This is the part down here that floods, so I'm going to do that last. I'm just dreading that for now. Um, basically, there's no drain here, it's just a soak away here, but obviously, it's just full of mud, so I'll try and dig that out a little bit and then. I'll come down from there, so I'll do this bit, come down from there, and then focus on this bit last. And my tank's overflowing, and I've got some lovely wet shoes now. Oh, I parked the wrong way around, didn't I, guys? I need to sort my float valve out on there. It's um, It's got a bit stiff, so it doesn't sh auto shut off. So, yeah, if I leave the water on too long, I have a lovely flooded van. I've got a plug right in it as well there, look. Oh, God. I'll leave it right here for a bit. That should dry them out. mission failed guys the pump idea that i had did not work at all the water's not deep enough that pump is great but it needs to be deep it's obviously a submersible pump isn't it so it needs to be very deep for it to work it's not deep enough so i've had to do the old school method of just <laughs> sweeping it out uh, with that it works quite well actually um it doesn't take too long so i'm not too bothered but yeah unfortunately that's the case so there's still going to be a, a bit of standing water there but it's just going to be in that channel um it's the best I can do really and I call myself a professional now but um, it was the same as last time and they were happy enough they said yeah even with a heavy rainfall it, it fills up quick so um, just a little bit left to do and then a lot of clearing up <laughs> but yeah the rest of it's looking great so right let's uh, make another flood
works, but it is tiring. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with guys. It's just a small channel with loads of roots in it. It's, it. It will drain away on its own eventually, but it'll take an age if I left it the way it was. And now to fill it all up again for the last rinse down. Right, Tio, I'm going to let that settle for a minute. I'm going to start putting all this stuff back, um, do another rinse down of that area, and then job done, I think. Right then, folks, that is not job done because you guys didn't remind me to do the road because my van was parked on it. So that's your fault, so I'm doing that now. Now, if I recall correctly, if, if I recall, oh my God, if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, um, yeah, it's blocked. Check this out. Now this has been blocked now for going on three years, probably more than that because I remember when I first did this job, I pushed all of the mud up into the road because I was like, oh, there's a drain there, it'll all just drain away and I'll sweep the mud up and let all the water go down. No, I was wrong. It flooded like crazy down there and down there. And it was literally the luckiest thing ever because I was like, there was such a mess and I basically just left it there for a bit. I was like, I need to try and sort that flood out. Um, so I just left this big pile of mud just there at the road for me to deal with, you know, before I went. And then a street cleaner came up and I saw him, he must have spotted it, came up and sucked it all out and I was like, what a legend. Um, but yeah, obviously, that's not lasted long, has it? Now, obviously, guys, a little bit of me is in there. A little bit of me. <laughs> a little bit of my mud is in there, but I'm, it's a tiny amount. This is like old, old stagnant stuff. Oh, wow. Clean me out nicely. Oh, God. I'll just keep going, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I promise that's not just me. Um, oh, it stinks as well. And, uh, yeah, I can't clean that, guys. There was um, a video I did. I think it was when I first used that pump. It was a couple of weeks back. And then somebody commented, because of the uh, drain situation at the bottom, which is a, a street drain, guys. It's not my fault it's not my problem basically um, i try my best to clear as much as i can just so it doesn't overflow but there's only so much i can do and basically somebody commented saying um not very impressed that you didn't clear the street drain and i was like i don't think you guys understand it's a whole different level of work i'm not on about you guys i'm just talking about that person it's a whole different level of work drain cleaning in itself is a entirely different job from what i do i do my best you guys see with the certain drains that i get i do my best to, to clear them but you need a, a different type of machine you need a really high flow high powered machine for it drain rods all sorts of nifty gadgets i'm sure you guys have seen the drain cleaning channels on youtube it's a different job from pressure washing guys very difficult job um completely different job as well so that's why when we get stuff like that it's just years of it just being neglected essentially and all of the the water and mud and leaves and rubbish flowing into one area and i physically cannot clean it i, I don't have the equipment on board um i might do one day i might invest in like a drain cleaning business and get that set up and see how that goes but 
for now it's like it's not my job guys i can't actually go and <laughs> clear the streets drains but to be honest the council will sort that all the homeowner needs to do is just say look this the street drain outside my house is completely blocked and i'll send a van out to sort it so that's all it is basically right let me clean this up for anyone wondering the shoe did not dry out that didn't work i right, my foot is soaked so then ladies and gentlemen that concludes um that was a nice trip down memory lane to be honest coming back to do that it sort of reminds you where you've come from and where you are now the customers as you saw were like wow look at that machine look at the van um it's mad how quick um life changes and it's really cool like just the difference a couple of years can make three years can make to your business who you are as a person what's going on in your life i've got two kids one on the way now instead of just one uh, living in my own place i drive i've got a couple of vans the business is doing really well um and it all just stems really from just, in my opinion, just a bit of focus, a bit of knuckling down and perseverance and not giving up because there was time, at the time that I did this job just before that, I was this close to packing it all in. I was um, in the town centre um, of where I live, walking into trying to get an appointment at this like agency to get some part-time work because I was struggling. I, I literally just had no work on um, and I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was trying everything I could and just nothing was really coming in, just small jobs. <laughs> And I was like, oh, this area sucks. There's no good work here. My prices keep being turned down and stuff. And, you know, luckily with help from customers like that, you end up sticking it out and persevering. So that's my advice to anyone who's in that mode at the moment, thinking about giving up guys, it's April. It's the very start of the season. So if you're just starting out and the, the phone's not ringing, just wait, just keep knuckling down. If you're sitting down in the house and there's no work coming in, there's your problem. You sat down in the house. I know because it was me. And that's what I was doing. I was sit, just sitting around, whinging about work. Like, why isn't the phone ringing? Why isn't my website doing anything? Why me? Why me? Why me? Excuses, basically. Um, and then it was only when the pressures got really tough and I thought, you know what, nah, I'm making a decision. I'm not quitting. I'm going for it. That's when things started to change. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and look, look how cute this is. So, it was a free job and I can't even do a free job without still getting something from it. Um, thanks. When I think of special people, you always spring to mind. You're such a lovely person, so generous and kind. What a nice card. And inside, and inside, there is a crisp £20 note. Have a drink on us. Thank you so much for your kind and generous service. Book us in for next year. So I did try and refuse the, the money, guys, but she, uh, she, she caught me in the trap. And she says, we'll give it to the kids then. And then you can't turn it down, can you? So thank you, Jackie and Trevor. I really appreciate it. That will go straight into my kids' little piggy bank. And they can see what they want with it. So... That's all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's Friday, so have a good weekend, everyone. All the best. See ya. Bye-bye.